Hello, I'm Jean-Paul Casarotti, and today I will be talking a little bit about the piece The Bear by Vladimir Rebikov. This piece is an intermediate level piece, and it's a great piece uh, to work different articulations in different hands, as well as a great piece um, to work a little bit of whole tone scale, or at least whole tone penta scale. Um, I will play a little bit of that, and then I will be discussing a little bit of the elements on, on each one of these hands and how to coordinate it. Okay? So here it comes. Okay, so you will notice that I actually, instead of having my bench on the middle of the piano, I move in my bench to play all the way on the left. So it be easier so I don't play all um, twisted. So I'm moving my bench towards the left of the piano. So I'm almost getting here, the end of my bench is getting towards the middle. So that's much easier. And I'm sitting correctly here, measuring my distance and everything. Okay. The left hand, it's basically just playing Fs, F1 and F2, and I am aligned here uh, with my elbow. And you also notice that I am bouncing. I don't need to keep my hand open even though I have a big hand. So I recommend students to just keep their hand naturally positioned, can open a little bit if they want, but they can actually bounce and feel the black key around the F. And the whole time the piece is just going to be playing this bouncing. So I'm landing tall and tall, but I'm bouncing laterally. So this F bouncing here and this bouncing here. And the whole time that's all I'm doing the left hand. Okay, now the right hand, uh, it's a little more complicated and I want to share with you some of the screen here that I'm using with Classroom Maestro, a great app to demonstrate this. And you have here basically three groups of whole tone scales. The first one is the G, is starting in the beginning, page one here. You can notice the page one, it's a section A will be on group one. So group one is G, two, A, B, then C sharp or D flat, E flat. I'm gonna add two more notes here, F and G, so that we recognize. So this is the G whole tone scale, okay? So that first page is, gonna be on the position one. So now on the second page you have here on the top, you have a second group. So it starts on D flat and F finger two. So that gives us a B whole tone scale, B, C sharp, or D flat, D flat, F and G. I'm gonna add two more notes so that the F will recognize. So this is a B whole tone scale, that's group two, okay? Now, next you have group three, that is an A whole tone scale. So A, B, C sharp, or D flat, D sharp, or E flat, and F. And I'm gonna add two more notes so you can see I have a whole A whole tone scale. So we have position one, one more time, G whole tone scale. Position two, B whole tone scale. Position three, A. And I go back to position two position three, and then back to section A, position one. So these are the basic three positions that we're going to be using here, and I recommend you to get this settled first. Okay, now after you have settled that, you, I'm starting on position one here, G, A, B, C sharp, and D, and I'm just going to follow the score, and I'm doing drop, drop, bounce, bounce, drop, bounce, 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 drop, 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 bounce, bounce, drop, bounce, 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 drop. Now the second section B, I am on B position, right? And I'm starting on finger two and four. Same thing, 
bounce, bounce, draw. Now I'm going to change to group three, which is A. Back to group two. Drop, drop, bounce, bounce, draw. Back to group three. Right? And on this section B, I like to emphasize, I used to tell my students there are two bears in here. Uh, because they're double notes. So it should be louder. Two bears. Yeah, here. And now I am back on section A on mezzo forte. And notice that's a little different articulation. It's not completely staccato. Now you have the staccato with the tenuto. So I think the bear is a little tired here. So the bear is going to be a little lazy the right hand. It's not as bouncy. It's kind of a bouncy drop. Drop, drop, bounce, drop. And then you can take your time. Okay. Now, when you put this together, you need to make sure that the left hand is bounced shorter. This is a little longer. Bear is heavier and lazy. I'm gonna change the position to move two and change to three. Help. Looking forward for the next tutorial soon. Bye bye.